Armada dropped a twit longer. Everyone say hi, YouTube. You know the worst part about this is, is that everyone is just going to meme this and say, how will, how does this affect Armada's legacy? Because Melee has like that similar humor to um, like N our NBA, where it's like, who's the go, who's the go, who's the go? But let's find out. Armada dropped a twit longer. And uh, him and Lucky got into like a verbal spat on Twitter the other day. That was kind of very vague and weird. But anyway. Uh, he calls Mango a toxic <laughs> asshole off the get-go. So this is going to be a good read. <laughs> so, Armada states, I debated a long time to make this post due to my recent tweets and many people's response to it. I guess I should. Before I wanted to start, make it clear that Melee and its community give me so much over the years. There's a shit ton of people that supported me over the years and I love all of you. You're seen and I appreciate you. I'm not the best at expressing that and sometimes when I get negative, I don't word things great. I think everyone was drunk as fucking New Year's also. However, I do think I stuff I implied needs to be addressed and give you all a better view of where I'm coming from. Damn. I hate being a drama goblin, but it's juicy. Yeah, I did not expect this. I didn't expect 2023 to kick off like this. As tons of people have already mentioned, I didn't apply Mango and stuff he has done, which has impacted a lot for me. Ever since I retired, Mango has honestly been a toxic asshole, to say the least. And being so without any consequences, I guess I got completely normalized, for lack of a better word. First, it started off with less little stuff. Stuff, I guess, I did not see the true impact or meaning behind early on. For context, um, I will remind everyone, Mango and I had a very bitter feud uh, during like 2013, 2014, when Evo, I fucking hated his guts. I wanted to beat his ass. He hated my guts. He wanted to beat my ass. And then we hated each other for a while. And I think we just became older and we got dad bods and he became an actual dad. And then we just realized, I don't know. It's like the respect was grown. The dynamic Mango and I have had has taken a long time to develop. We're very, the three of us are all very different people. Problem with Armada and Mango is I don't think that ever had a chance to foster. Apart from a few times we went to a bar together and together. Because they had the most famous rivalry in Melee. Anyways. When Mango early on post-retirement uh, often would make remarks to me as a competitor, whether it was comparing me to different players in ways to make it look worse, to flat out talking like everyone would just beat me. At the time, I did not care too much about it. After all, I thought he probably just missed me slash our rivalry. And I think even if he went about it terribly, I tried to understand it and ignore it. It needs to be stated that already at this point, you could see a change in terms of how people talk to about me as a player. But I tried to ignore it as much as I could. When I did not buy any of those remarks for a long time, I guess I started going over to me as a person slash competitor combination. All of a sudden, the reason I retired was because I was scared. I've been hearing this too. Everyone's been saying this. Amara retired because he was scared of all the players and improvements people have made. I can 100% certainty say that everyone knows me, knows that this is 100% false. I have many times explained my reasons for retirement, and if you don't believe me, then so be it. Ironically enough, I had a conversation with Mango slash Lucky at Genesis 5 about how my motivation had fallen for a long time and how this, how this did trouble me, but I guess it had to be ignored for Mango to continue his lies. Oh... At this point, there was more people started to dislike me, I guess, in their mind, out of ego slash fear. I had melee. I had abandoned melee, and I deserved no respect again. I tried to ignore these people. It was very obvious who they got these ideas from, but I hope things would go away. Next up, we should talk about the meta. Oh, oh, this is great. Even though the story Mango has been telling me for years is not true, we should still look into it. My exact quote was, I don't think the meta have changed that much. What I love about this is that you know it was Armada because he uses the word have instead of has and makes a grammatical error like our favorite Swedish sniper. That's definitely his quote. Um, important things to remember here. This was a reference to early 2020, uh, about 1.5 years after I retired and well before Slippy. The impression many people gave me at the time was basically that things had changed to the point that late 28th... Why am I saying his voice? I'm sorry. The impression... I heard the word impression. I started impersonating him. The impression many people gave me at the time was basically that things had changed to the point that late 2018 would not be enough uh, for maybe top 30. This might not be accurate, but it is the picture I got from a lot of people. To the small sample size, I realized this might have not been the case overall. My comment with that much was a reference to this. Basically, the impression I got from people said and what I felt was very off. I should have not made the comment, period, and for that, I apologize. Armada is apologizing uh, here. What happens next, though, is that Mango takes this and goes with the storyline that I have said nothing have changed. It has. Nothing has changed. 
No one did improve at all, and no one can reach higher than 2018. Long story short, it was implied. People thought he was implying that 2018 was the peak of Melee. And that because of his presence and what it was, it's much more it's much more difficult then than what it is now. Um, but I guess he's apologizing for it here and saying that wasn't the case. I try to make it very clear. That's not at all what I said slash meant, but the damage was done. Mango, four years, pushed an agenda that I essentially disrespected every player and thought no one had gotten better at all. Again, I apologize for my original comment, but I do think it's important to notice that what I said and meant is very different from the story Mango uh, told. Again, I apologize for my comment. Even if it's in intended form and what I actually was a comment, I shouldn't have made. However, I do think it's beyond reasonable the amount of shit I got for it. But Mango willingly spreading lies is more than fine, apparently. She... However, I do think it's beyond unreasonable the amount of shit I got for it, but Mango willingly spreading lies is more than fine, apparently. I don't, don't mind me. I just... Editors put, cut that out. I used to practice our modern impressions, and I'm just reading this in his voice. Um, I guess at this point, I'd finally slipped up and said something that Mango felt could justify him become even more toxic. Important to remember as well that... Okay. Important to remember as well is that Mango, for a long time already had tried to provoke me and get a reaction out of me. Did I always act perfect? No. Should I have kept my mouth shut? Yes. Guys, I'm going to say this right now because Mango's going to uh, read this. Everyone's going to read this. People are going to watch this video. Ludwig, Smash Boxing, me versus left or someone, or my versus Mango. Give them a million dollars each. You're, the pay, the, you will have the number one the number one most viewed stream of all time. But Twitch, YouTube, CBS, Telemundo, I don't care. It will be the White House will officially broadcast it on sanctioned television. Anyways. <clears throat> But I think it's important to remember that for years I was provoked and supposed to say nothing. With the whole meta story, things really started going downhill. The more Mango pushed the story, the more hate started coming towards me. Tons of people started to believe everything Mango said. I never got a chance to explain myself. When Mango had gone to this point, it's not like he stopped. He talked about how I would rather see the melee scene die in order for people to not have a chance to improve their legacies. Again, this is 100% false. I do remember each of these conversations that happened, like, um, as they came along. And when I saw Mango and Amato arguing like this, I didn't, like, go on either side. I just said, like, I, I felt sad more than anything. It's just like, how did it come to this, of all things? How did it come to this? The one of those beautiful rivalries esports has ever seen is, is, is now being put in this category. I love Melee, and I always will. It makes me happy that people can continue to compete in this wonderful game, and stuff like Slippy Slash Metagame are always amazing for this scene. Uh, Mango painted a picture of me as someone that would rather see the game die. And M Mango said Armada would rather see the game die than watch people to improve. Anyways, this, this is his truth. This is Armada's truth, or his truth. These lies at its worst led to people wishing I would die. Holy fuck. I guess in these people's minds, I was the person Mango had painted up for them, a person that wanted bad for Melee and did not risk the players. I will say this. Players are players. The fan bases are the players concentrated. So take any of my thoughts or actions. My fan base uh, will do the same thing concentrated. Take anything Mango says. His fan base will do it concentrated. And there's always extremists in every chat. It's unfortunate. I don't stand for it. I'm sure Mango doesn't either. There's always people who take it way too fucking far. However, there is a responsibility that we as players with fan bases need to assume because of these extreme people. You know? You notice how, like, whenever I had, like, beef with someone, I would usually say, guys, don't go in this chat. I know I'm pissed off and I'm talking shit. Just go, don't go in this chat. Because there's a point where it gets personal. There's a point where it's harassment. There's a point where it's, it's, it's it, it, like, you're going to people's actual, like, incomes and fucking with it or their, their personal lives like with this with uh, armada getting death threats as someone that gave my all to melee for so many years it made me sad how i could feel a clear change which obviously was led by mango it made me more sad when no matter how much shit he talked the lies he said 
No one seemed to call him out for it and return his words became truth to many. Eventually, yeah, this is this is bitter. This is very personal. He's hurt. You can tell he's hurt. You can tell it, and legitimately probably was the reason that it, it all uh, he wanted to stop. Eventually got to the point where, yeah, where I stopped streaming Melee entirely. As many might remember, I still did stream Melee occasionally, mainly with Meaty. And this was well past retirement. With a lot of hate on various platforms, I really felt like it was not worth it. I still play Melee occasionally to this day, but for my own sake, I will keep it offline. That is interesting. As much as I dislike it, I will admit Mango has a very large following, and here is where the issue comes. Mango has a very large following, and at least a portion of these are diehards. That's what I said. I call them extremists. What Mango says is law to these people. It goes without saying that Mango knows what he says and does will impact a lot of people. He absolutely knew that by making up lies, a lot of people would believe every word he said, and some people would take it out on me. Oh, boy. It's messy. But I understand. Uh, call me crazy, but I think it's important to recognize that streamers have a responsibility in all of this. Don't get me wrong. Uh, if people cross on the lines, it's their responsibility. But if a content creator did this, I think it's fair to say they played a huge role in creating the mess. Mango absolutely knew what he was doing and kept pushing. It just makes me sad how many lies for years impacted me a lot. And according to so many people, I should just take it all and never say anything. That my experiences are not valid because they might have not been seen slash heard. Why is it wrong for me to feel bad about this, but not wrong of Mango to lie to push people against me i can say for certain uh, that as mango spread more and more lies that heavily did increase the hate towards me which lasted a long time can you blame me for feeling it's unfair that no matter what he says slash does and no matter what that leads to i'm just supposed to shut up and there it is what happened i'm literally truth be told i should have made this post a long time ago it deserved to be read back and maybe things would change sooner Lucky said, the way you are wording this is making me so mad on so many levels. Right, this is from the Lucky tweet from, today, from last night or two nights ago. It was a definitely drunk, drunk tweet. What made me mad on so many levels is that I'm supposed to take lies for years, not say anything about it, and be fine with it. I can relate. People had a giant hate brigade against me, and I literally had to shut my mouth because anytime I spoke up against it, it I, just did, I just dug a bigger hole. Huge hole. Uh, could I express myself better? Sure, but maybe the bigger issue is for some people in the scene, Mango can't do anything wrong. Uh, many people might not understand the impact he made, but some do at the same time. Again, I should have freed myself better. I apologize for that. There is very many lovely members in the community, and I love you a lot. Part of the reason I should have made this post a long time ago is because it was much more relevant back then. I guess I ended up not doing it. Uh, because I did not have the energy to go through the time, but based on my recent tweets deep down, I think this deserves to be told, and I'm tired of feeling like no matter the lies, I should just take it just because I don't compete in Melee any longer. Another reason I didn't bring it up is because I feel like in Melee community, you are not allowed to go against Mango. This man is speaking his heart. Again, call me crazy, but I 100% believe that we overall can do much better at calling this shit behavior out and what it leads to. Damn! One reason I make this post, not only to my story, but also the fact that I believe it's very important to see the result of how people with large following impact people. With all this said, I 100% respect Mango as a player. I rivalry is something I will still always look back at with cool memories. Even if we personally don't like each other at all, and in my opinion, he brought a lot of shit to me post-retirement, I don't think anyone should bring hate. I don't think more hate solves anything. Let him cook, dude. I hope Mango slash others maybe see the bigger picture of how actions like this, especially on the internet, and if you have a large following, how much it can impact. I hope if Mango slash I or anyone else does something similar, that people let us know no player slash creator is perfect. With all this said, I have done anything else wrong, disrespected in this whole situation. I would be more than fine to hear that and try to improve from it. I have already made a clear effort to never state anything regarding player skill ranks meta for a long time because I don't anyway want to disrespect people. I understand this is a flaw I had, and I've actively tried to correct it. I'm not saying I have acted perfect on all fronts. However, I do think I got a lot of unfair turn for a long time. I hope this post does a decent job at explaining disappointment slash anger and many more feelings I have felt for a long time. I really do feel that a lot of have been unfair, and even if you don't agree with everything, I hope at the very least people understand where I'm coming from. I love Melee, and I always will. Adam Armada Lindgren, January 2nd, 2023. Long story short, um, essentially, 
as far as twit longer goes it's it's pretty well written i think he got the point across very well and like i said it's a pain in the ass to ever even speak about this um i will say that it does feel very much more like a uh uh personal personal uh okay, can we add too late someone, someone look me too late it feels a lot more like a, like a personal feud but i also know that i was in this spot you know there's a reddit ama that i made it's very famous when mango you know one evo when 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 he when he did that you know I felt so much anger, so much anger. It was, it was, it was, it was ugly, ugly anger. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really know. I, I didn't really know how to handle it. So I did it in a sloppy way. Right. My question is, is, is Mango going to respond to this at all? In a, in a way that warrants response. Is he going to do something that, that, you know, softens the blow or is he going to fire back with, and, atom- and like, a, like a, an atomic bomb. Should I moderate, guys? Should I be the moderator between these two on a fun Discord call? Because they're not going to do it by themselves. They're just going to fucking yell at each other. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being you full side with Armada, and you fully agree with Armada here, 1 being, I think Armada is way out of line here, where do you stand? Uh, it's all over the place. Holy shit. It is all over the place. What about me? Uh, I'm like... Yeah. Armada's already trending. Hbox, what do you think of your mom's reply to the twit longer? Does she reply to the twit longer? <laughs> Aww. My mom is an Armada fan. A good number of people are uh, comparing it to what I went through, which is valid. I will say this. I don't think anything crazy is going to come of all. I, I think generally nothing's going to change. But there is one circumstance. There's one circumstance where Mango does something really dumb here. Mango can shit talk back and it's not a, it's not a big deal. But I think right now, if Mango fires back like re remember, remember how when like when mango fired back to my ama it just went completely horrible for everyone and it just it was it just the whole it was just shit wall to wall like that could happen here if he makes a really like bad crude response to it right now i'm pretty sure you could say anything and probably nothing will happen but Depending how bitter or how bad he feels about this entire rivalry, in terms of I I have my own tier list because remember I, I I I I do not forget I don't forget I forgive but I don't forget I have my own tier list of which players made me feel the absolute most dog shit in my entire life, which players made me want to fucking quit this game so hard. And maybe depressed. But it's a new year. But that tier list would get like 300,000 views, dude. Ooh.